Hey guys, welcome to day four of our alignment challenge. Today we're gonna to be focusing on down dog and dolphin pose. So again, please feel free to review the videos before, prior to this day, so that you can remember that alignment. We're always finding mountain pose when we move through our down dog and our dolphin, that applies as well. So we're gonna start in a tabletop whenever you're ready. Come on down to all fours. Find the hasta banda. So we're pressing into the fingertips and the low knuckles. That's gonna help take that pressure off the wrist. Your neck is long and neutral in line with the rest of the spine. So try not to allow the head to fall off your body. Belly's pulling in. We're strong through our core. From your tabletop, we're gonna flip the toes and just hover the knees about a half an inch away from your space. Now, for today, I'd like you to keep that generous bend in the knees as you begin to float the heels back and the tailbone up towards the sky. So we'll do that again. Come on down to your neutral tabletop. The bend in the knees is helping you find a longer spine. Any pose in yoga where you're looking for that long back, feel free to bend the knees as much as you need to to find it. And as you start to gain a little bit more flexibility or start to warm up through your muscles, you can start to think about straightening the legs. So again, we'll take our down dog with a generous bend in the knees. Low belly draws up and in, curl the toes. Send the hips high, coming into downward facing dog. Now keeping the knees as bent as you need, you guys. If your hamstrings are feeling open, you can start to press the heels down towards the earth. Now, your heels never have to touch the ground. That might not be possible for your anatomy. That's okay, you can always keep the heels hovered and a micro bend in the knees. Notice what's happening to the torso. If the ribs are trying to splay open and you're popping that booty, remember those little adjustments that we've been making to our body. Slightly tucking the tailbone, even here, just slightly, it's nothing too aggressive. The ribs are pulling together and back. We have hasta banda in the hands. Our foundation is strong and firm. Eye of the elbow is spinning slightly forward towards the front of your space and you're protracting slightly through the shoulders. So we're not trying to create a cat spine here, but that press and lift of the chest is helping to protect the shoulders. Hold for a couple more rounds of breath. Down dog is a resting pose, right? And on the exhale, go ahead and drop down to the knees. Send the hips to heels. Lengthen the arms in front of you or let them rest by your sides to give those wrists a little break. Maybe pump them out, roll out the wrists. All right, you guys, feel free to continue to keep playing with your downward facing dog or I will show you some alignment tips for a dolphin. So again, we're gonna start in a tabletop, but this time we're gonna come down to the forearms. Now, when you drop down to the forearms, guys, just be mindful of what happens to the elbows. So your elbows might wanna press out to the side rather than allowing them to create that diamond shape. Think about drawing the elbows in so that your forearms are in the shape of an 11. And then we're gonna press down through the forearms like you've been pressing down through your hands and your plank and your down dogs. All right, so coming into tabletop, set up the torso, belly's in, and then go ahead and drop down to the forearms. Now option, you can keep the palms pressing down or you can start to draw the palms together. You can interlace the fingers and press the pinkies down. Whichever one feels better in your body is totally fine. I'm going to stay here at an 11. Now same thing here, you're gonna notice in your tabletop that your shoulders are back behind the elbows. We want our shoulders stacked directly over. So just like that chaturanga, where it's the opposite side, so the forearms are pressing down, we have that 90 degree angle in our arms. So once you have that, you may need to draw the knees a little bit closer towards the elbow. We're gonna curl the toes and just hover the knees coming into a floating forearm table. Continue to press the forearms down, draw the low belly up and in, nice neutral spine. Breath in and exhale release. Now maybe pause the video there and just check out what happened in your body. I want you to be really mindful of the shoulders that press down of the forearms is getting that protraction rather than the retraction of the shoulder. So protraction and retraction. So we want to avoid hugging the shoulder blades towards one another. We're trying to keep that space a little bit smoother and longer. All right, come on back to tabletop. This time we're going to lift all the way up into our dolphin pose. 
forearm table. Walk the knees in, finding that 90 degree angle in the arms. Press down through the forearms. So get that throat traction of the shoulders. We're gonna curl the toes, cover the knees, and then press the hips high, coming into your dolphin. Now, as I press my hips up, you probably saw my shoulders shift back. So I walked my toes forward, finding that alignment. Press the earth away. Think about lifting the chest away from the ground. Hold for a couple rounds of breath. And when you're ready, just walk the toes out. Come on down to the knees. Send hips to heels, arms can remain by your sides. Embryo pose. All right, you guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. See you tomorrow.